this video, I'll evaluate the aerodynamic performance of several different product designs using a virtual wind tunnel app. I'll begin by selecting the wind tunnel app. Apps allow AIM to be customized to automate simulation workflows. The inputs of the app are designed to be straightforward. I need to specify a geometry file, an input velocity, and a target solution accuracy. The app also includes online help to guide users of the app who may not be experts in simulation. Next, I'll create the simulation process to execute the app. Next, I'll review the model setup before executing a solution. The app has defined a series of tasks which define the simulation process. It also defines all of the necessary model inputs, mesh controls, material properties, boundary conditions, and simulation results. The app completely defines the simulation workflow. To execute the solution, I'll simply update the results task. Next, I'll review the simulation results provided by the virtual wind tunnel app. Shown here are the fluid streamlines flowing around a cityscape. I can also review the fluid pressures on section planes as defined by the virtual wind tunnel app. The virtual wind tunnel app can also be used to evaluate the aerodynamic performance for many other geometric configurations, such as a football in flight, the flow over an airfoil, or the flow over a sports car. The wind tunnel app also generates quantitative results data, such as the drag force and the lift force. To evaluate the lift and drag forces as a function of inlet velocity, I'll simply create additional design points, and with a single mouse click, quickly evaluate all the solutions. Shown here, you can see the increase in the lift and the drag forces as a function of the inlet velocity. With ANSYS AIM, you can easily create a custom application to streamline a simulation workflow and deploy simulation to other users in your engineering organization. And if you're interested in the virtual wind tunnel app, it's available on the ANSYS App Store. Thank you for watching this demonstration of ANSYS AIM.